Hey Reefers, Lindsay here again with another educational video where I try to learn more about the fun things that we have in our store and teach you about them in the process. Since we now have two happy betta fish in Coral Lust, I looked up some information about them. So betta fish, otherwise known as Siamese fighting fish, which are native to Thailand, are like other labyrinth fish. Betas have the ability to breathe oxygen from the air and also take in oxygen from its gills. So it can survive for short periods of time out of water, although obviously that is not recommended. As you can see here, they do best in small aquariums, at least two gallons with regular water changes and temperature of 76 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is fairly warm. Their diet is very simple dried blood worms, brine shrimp, or Daphnia will work. And if you have not checked out my first video, frozen food versus dry food, I urge you to check that out. I go through the frozen foods that we have in Coralust and explain what they do and, and who's best to eat it. You'll see how we feed the, the betas soon, but right up here are the dried blood worm pellets, and they loved it. Now it's suggested that they have the blood worms, the brine shrimp, or the Daphnia because they cannot survive on plant roots. They do need a diet high in protein and fiber. So betas prefer slightly acidic water, a pH of around 6.5 to 7, and cold water can actually cause illness as it suppresses the immune system. Now they usually live between 2 to 3 years, but in some cases they have been known to live well into their teens. Betas are not schooling fish and will fight with each other, so they do need to be contained and living alone, enjoying aquatic caves or other shelving to hide and feel safe, and not too much decor. guys I had a lot of fun learning about betas and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the store soon.